Alright guys, so um, I kind of lied. Anyways, um, this is Pegard Studios here coming at you with a update of the new Bricksburg layout. So, um, gonna kind of give you guys an overview of what we got here. I'm not gonna actually give a tour just yet. I don't plan to until the city is actually complete, which um, might not be for a while just because of all that's uh, kind of going on right now. But, uh, yeah, um, there's, well, everything's pretty much different in the city, that, uh, with the layout, that is. Um, but other than that, I think everything has primarily stayed the same. Um, so basically, uh, down here we just have a green base play that's, that just has a couple of minifigures and a couple other stuff, and... Just some stuff lying around there. Over here we have a staircase that's going to go up to the um, metro rail. Which, as you can see, I'm back to using the tram. I don't know if um, I'm going to use the passenger train on this prop. Just because it'll take up the the whole length of the track. Because, as you can see, it's significantly shorter than what it used to be. Which um, does kind of suck. But, you know, oh well. Um... So yeah, and then over here we have the harbor. That's the first time this has actually been used in Bricksburg, which is pretty awesome, I must say. Um, Skyview Tower, you, can, you can't really see it because of the window right there. And then the police station and Accenture Tower, or Accenture Tower. I still haven't determined a pronunciation. Um, Toys R Us Tower right there. You have Paradise Tower further down. Um, gonna walk around here and show you guys a bit more thoroughly so what I was kinda looking for was this site could be more of like the um, smaller town or like a I wanted to give this side a small town feel which um, it only has just the uh, the smaller buildings and the low-rise uh, um, or the yeah, the low rise buildings like the hotel and uh the Apple store, which is still under construction. Here yeah, you have the pizzeria, the bank, the market, the bike shop. Um there's probably a temporary location for the toy and bike shop. I've ri I honestly really want to have it where like hang on, I'm gonna move some stuff so I can show you guys. Cause you can you can do this with the with this building. Like you can do with the deli. I want to have it like this, but because it's like three sided, like there's windows in all three sides, there's really no place I can put it that it looks good. Because um, I don't really want to have. And also, I want to have it so like it's actually accessible to reach the staircase. So, yeah, that's not really easy for the moment. And then I also put the bus stop back on a normal base plate, as you can see right there. I'm hoping I don't knock these boxes over. Um, vet clinic, the bakery, there's the Apple store again and the crane on top. The back of the news station and Toys R Us Tower. Here we have the pet shop modular and the bike shop from the town square. Now, I'm not having all the modulars in the city. Um, the, the other two are actually up there on top you can see them back there I just kind of put them and um, part of the billboard because hang on I have the billboard to the Grand Emporium right here but the truss piece that connects to it on the bottom ended up fa ended up falling into a mess down there so I can't exactly um, go and find it just yet so I'm gonna have to clear out some of that and um, yeah so over here we have the corner deli Right behind Skyview Tower, the pizzeria from the town square. I figured it'd be kind of cool to have it in this little space right here next to the police station. Not nearly as much room for police cars. They're actually literally squished back there. Like, uh, I, I can't even move any of them forward or backward just because of how little room there is back there. And then some police cars up here and yeah. So, um, I'd say... I'd say this design is, well, I'd say the city right now is about maybe, I don't know, hmm, maybe 80% complete. 
just because of um, all the stuff that I still have to do because I still have to put down the minifigures. I still have to do the vehicles. Um, got to finish making the elevated rail because it's not finished. Um, build the station. Uh, I need to find something to go there or a few things. And also, I don't know for sure if the if that juice bar is gonna stay there. That's another thing too. The front bit where like there's a there's a little patio that's supposed to be out front right there where the jet ski is. That actually ended up falling back there as well with the um truss piece from the billboard. So I'm gonna have to really dig through that. But um Yeah, and then obviously this huge mess right here, just full of minifigures and props and other stuff. And then I have some space over here and like I said, I don't know if the if that is gonna stay there, so. But anyways, um, that's it for this video. Uh, like I said, I'll do a full tour once the city is complete. Don't know when that'll be just yet. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys like this new design or if you preferred the old design. Oh yeah, one more thing too. And that little space where the water is, cause also there's the uh, beach hut. Um, I'm probably gonna end up putting like the Coast Guard dock right there, most likely. I don't know for sure just yet. But anyways, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if you guys want to see more um, updates on the city, of course, let me know. And like I said earlier, let me know what you guys think of this new design. If you guys like it. If you guys want to see any uh, minor changes. Like if there's anything you guys think should be rearranged. Maybe. Um, and of course, if you guys preferred the old design. Because I don't know for sure if this is going to be the final design when I do end up going to a new house. Which will hopefully be later this year. So, yeah. That's it for everything. Pegar Studios out.